Scoliosis and sciatica, are they linked? Scoliosis is the development of an unnatural sideways curvature with rotation. The rotation of the spine is typically into the concavity of the scoliosis. Rotation is what makes scoliosis a true three-dimensional condition. And we know scoliosis is progressive, meaning it's in its nature to worsen over time. Sciatica, when most people think of sciatica, they think of it as a condition itself. But sciatica is, it more accurately refers to a set of symptoms that are, are combined to mean a diagnosis of sciatica. Sciatica refers to pain or discomfort felt anywhere along the sciatic nerve pathway, which is very extensive. Sci the sciatic nerve starts in the lumbar spine and extends down the back of the hip, down the, bu down the buttocks, down the leg, and into the foot. Sciatic, the sciatic nerve is the largest nerve in the body and it's the mixed nerve, meaning it contains both sensory and motor fibers. That's why when you compress the sciatic nerve or have sciatic type of problems, you can have sensory, um, sensory issues like pain and numbness, and you can also have motion issues like weakness and, and loss of strength in certain muscles and tissues. In most cases, the sciatic nerve is felt down the left side of the body when it's associated with scoliosis, but it can involve the right side and in rare cases can affect, the bo uh, can affect both. Now, why does it typically affect the left side? Because most of the time in the lumbar spine, the most common type of curve is a left lumbar scoliosis, so most likely leading to left-sided sciatica. There are three main sections of the spine. There's the cervical spine, the thoracic spine, and the lumbar spine. Cervical spine is your neck, thoracic spine is your mid-back, and the lumbar spine is the lower back. If the scoliosis develops in the lumbar spine, the unnatural spinal curvature exists around the lower in the lower area. The compression to these muscles and nerves and all the uneven forces can affect the sciatic nerve exiting the spine where it comes together to form this nerve. So that's why we tend to see patients that have scoliosis to have left-sided sciatica because that's the side that's being affected by the left-sided scoliosis. And again, it's compressing the nerves that form the sciatic nerve that go down to the back of the leg uh, and into the leg into the, and into the foot. Now, what are some symptoms associated with this sciatic nerve compression? Well, the most common one people associate with is low back pain pain going down into the hip, buttocks, leg, or foot. Like you have pain go tracking down that nerve area. It can be just generalized pain. It can be radiating pain. It can be tingling sensation to the lower leg. It can be complete numbness. It can be electric-like uh, shock sensations. It can be stiffness in those muscles and tissues. And it can also be weakness in those same areas, like weakness in the leg in the, and in the legs and in the foot and in the calf area. So when we look at treating scoli uh, sciatica with scoliosis patients, the goal here is to actually reduce pressure on the sciatic nerve. Meaning if all you're doing is treating the symptoms, meaning taking medications or getting injections to help high what you're feeling, but you're not reducing the pressure on the sciatic nerve that's being a result of the scoliosis, meaning the scoliosis is the underlying condition that's resulting on the pressure of the sciatic nerve, which is creating the sciatic sciatica type of symptoms, that if the treatment's only on the symptoms, but not the, the very underlying cause, these uh, the results are going to be very limited. But if you treat the scoliosis proactively by reducing the size of curve, and if you do this as close to the time of diagnosis of scoliosis, you can work on, pre you can work on preventing progression of the scoliosis, therefore hopefully never developing sciatica. But if you know you have sciatica and then you find out you have scoliosis, reducing the scoliosis will help re on a structural level will help reduce the effect that that scoliosis is having on the sciatic nerve, thus reducing your sciatica symptoms. So there Therefore, we want to really reduce the curve. And reducing the curve on a structural level means combining multiple therapies to get the best reduction. Scoliosis does not reduce with one form of therapy. You normally have to combine many different types of therapies, things like chiropractic care, physical therapy, corrective bracing, rehabilitation, home therapy, home rehab, scoliosis-specific exercises, traction, vibration, neuromuscular education. All these things need to be combined in a very specific way to address all the tissues all the structural components, all the muscles, the ligaments, the nerve tissues to help, cr help create a restorative nature to that sciatic nerve by removing the size, by reducing the size of curve. Treating a patient with sciatic pain that has scoliosis and treating somebody's scoliosis that's causing sciatic pain are two different things. What I notice is that many patients, are, uh, they, they seek out um, 
treatment from like chiropractors or physical therapists and they get treated like a patient that has sciatica but they have scoliosis too. Where in our treatment center, we treat the scoliosis to reduce the curve, and by reducing the curve, we help the sciatic problem by addressing the cause. And those are very different. It's different treating a scoliosis patient with a symptom than treating somebody's scoliosis that's creating the symptom. And that's the, really what the goal is. So when we look at not causing damage to, scoli to the sciatic nerve, we really want to reduce it take pressure off that nerve as soon as possible because the longer the pressure stays on there, the longer it is to create a permanent effect to that nerve. So therefore, but we want to reduce that pressure as soon as we can. So therefore, we want to reduce the size of curve, take pressure off that nerve to allow the nerve system to heal and recover so that so sciatica symptoms that you're sensing will help re re resolve. And this is all done through a scoliosis conservative approach and this is all done by helping reduce the size of curve on a structural component. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information helpful. If you'd like to hear about other topics and information on scoliosis, type in the comments below and let us know. And finally, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of when we publish content. Thanks.